Week 11, Problem 2. Consider an electromagnetic wave traveling in the positive y direction. The magne magnetic field associated with the wave at some location at some instant points. At some instant points. Should be a comma there. Comma. Some instant points in the negative x direction as shown in the figure below. What is the direction of the electric field at this position and at this instant? All right, so we're looking for the direction of the electric field. All right, so this goes back to pointing vector. So let's see if I can notice off the top of my head. So pointing vector, represented by S, will always be in the same direction as a propagation of magnetic field. So go here, pointing, pointing with a Y. There we go, pointing vector. So in physics, the pointing vector represents the directional energy flux density. Hmm, why that's not considered intensity? All right, so here we go. Uh, S equals E cross uh, H. And H in this case, I think, is magnetic field. Magnetic field. So the direction of propagation is going to be E cross H, or E cross B. And then we got a whole bunch of other details here. And here's another formulation. All right. So cross product. So let's see here. If we have E pointing down and B going that direction, and then propagation C would be that way. So what we have here then is straight down is E. Therefore E, E cross B, E cross B equals one. Yep. So I'm gonna say negative Z direction. Bam. Right there, negative Z. Negative Z cross Negative x equals positive y. Bam. That's all there is for this guy. Not too bad. On to problem three.